Every year, there will be some wonder kid who will be called the next Lionel Messi, Japanese Messi, Egyptian Messi, Swedish Messi, and so many. In 2003, a 23-year-old Javi trained with 16-year-old Lionel Messi for the very first time, and he was blown away by how good the Argentine was. 20 years later, and now 42-year-old Javi has apparently been blown away by the next Messi. So who is 15-year-old Lamine Yamal, and why does Javi believe he's the next great thing? Now, Lamine has risen up the ranks of La Masia at an alarming speed after joining Barca, just the age of five has been consistently tormenting every level of opposition. As an 11-year-old, he scored 68 goals for, for Barca's 11A. Simply absurd. Three years later, he was so good that he was moved up to Barca's juvenile A team, just right after his 15th birthday. Not even Leo Messi himself can say he played four years up at 15, but it gets even better. This season, he has netted six goals and assisted five times in just over a thousand minutes of game time. He's also gotten himself a call-up to the Spanish under-19 team. Oh, and if I haven't mentioned it enough, he's 15. Lamine is the most prolific under-17 dribbler I've seen so far. I'm not talking about it on the basis of his stats. I'm talking about a seriously effective dribbler. Yamal and his left foot just effortlessly slide past players. He just moves at a different speed than the opposition. He can beat you with a body feint, a ball fake, a quick two dribbles with his left, a singular step over, or just embarrass you, like he's done to countless defenders. And not just you, to be fair. He can embarrass the entire team in the same attack. He can carry the ball from deep and bring it right into the penalty area. He can attack from the wings and somehow end up with a tap-in for him or his teammate or he can just flat out run through your entire team. The right word would be extraordinary to describe this 15. His being left-footed definitely got him the mini Messi nickname, despite being just 15 years old. I'm pretty confident that if he was playing first-team football, he'd already be a top 25 dribbler on the planet. Yes, that's how talented he is at dribbling. Dribbling is easily his strongest attribute, but he does a lot more. Lamine has a top-tier vision and passing technique. His through balls are special. He can pick out runners with loft passes or perfectly weighted on the ground through balls. Due to him being being such an on-the-ball threat, the opposition is forced to give him extra attention, allowing his teammates to easily slip through the lines. He's able to frequently pick these players out, resulting in a handful of easy chances created. Sometimes he can make those passes that just blow you away. He can play these beautiful disguised through balls, and his technique is phenomenal, as it is with the shooting as well. He frequently likes to chip keepers, and he does it with elite technique. Like I mentioned earlier, he's so good at faking out, but he also seems to fool defenders out with his passing, and seems to fool the goalkeepers too with his perfect shooting, and he can even fool the keeper out on a corner kick, in which he plays a perfectly disguised corner perfectly into the back of the net. Just like Messi, he prefers to place his shots rather than smash them into the net. This allows you to shoot from a distance consistently and finish with precision rather than hitting it right at the keeper or 10 yards over the bar. The shot has low power, which may cause problems for him at higher levels, but at the under-19 level, he's able to pick out corners with his left consistently. With his right, it's unfortunately a different story, as he's not the most comfortable in his weaker foot. He seems to avoid moving the ball to his right. If he can, he won't ever shoot with his weaker side. It's easily his greatest weakness, and it would make him that much more lethal and unpredictable with a killer right foot. He also is completely unable to get his head on the ball because of his extremely poor physical strength, and he can't jump really high comparison to his height. He's not that short yet. yet he kind of plays like he's four inches shorter than his actual height. In comparison to Madrid's 72 million man Hendrik, he looks tiny. Zavi Simmons said a couple of months ago that at Barca you don't do much work in the gym. It's kind of true he has little to no physical power. Another weakness I can point out is his decision making. Just like so many young dribblers, he can sometimes make that decision that just messes up an easy goal scoring opportunity. He's not a number nine, he doesn't have that killer instinct, nor the quick release shot that can make an attacker so lethal in the penalty box. He over dribbles in the box sometimes instead of just taking a touch and releasing a shot. For example, in this play the ball should not be going backward. He should be taking a quick touch forward with his left and shooting with his weaker foot. Somehow he he still ends up dribbling the ball trying to give his teammate an easy chance. That's really more of a showing of his quality rather than being smart. Nonetheless, all of his weaknesses can easily become his strengths, and they're nothing too serious. Lamine is by far the most talented youngster, and I would say that he is a highly talented footballer. Subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I highly recommend you click on that video on the screen to understand how Messi scanned with his eyes to win the World Cup.